Hi again, everyone. I'm KCTV5 meteorologist Brett Anthony. This is another edition of our KCTV5 weather experiments. Well, we're all learning at home, and of course, we're coming closer to the end of the school year. So we just got a couple more weeks of experiments. And, you know, if you have a question about any of the experiments that we've done, please post those at the bottom of this uh, Facebook post, or you can always email me at Brett dot anthony at kctv5.com all right so today's a beautiful day and you may have noticed that uh if you ever go to the ocean or lake that the beach sometimes a lot hotter than the water why well because land heats up five times faster than water you may have also noticed that uh, you'll hear people talking about global warming or climate change what does that have to do with our today's experiment well we're going to demonstrate how 80 to 90 percent of the climate change or global warming that's occurring is occurring in the oceans because water can hold up to a thousand times more heat than air so how do we demonstrate that here's a simple experiment this is a balloon just filled with air we are going to take this lighter and we will light it and put the balloon over top of the flame and you'll notice how quickly that popped. So air doesn't have much of a heat capacity. It heats up pretty quick. Now let's take another balloon. We filled this about halfway through water with water. We're gonna light this one again and notice that this one is not popping. What's going on here? Why is this not popping? Well, because water has a much greater heat capacity than air. I'm heating the balloon, but the heat is being transferred to the water and the water is holding that heat. I mean, you can see it's, it's, it's burning the balloon. It's turning, the carbon is turning uh, black on the base of the balloon. So we are heating the balloon, but again, the heat's being transferred to the water. Water has about a thousand times more heat capacity than air. And so it would take until this water started to boil for that balloon to break. Now, if you try this experiment, make sure you have uh, something underneath just in case you heat the balloon and not the water in the balloon. But there you go. The heat capacity of water, much greater than the heat capacity of air. It explains a lot of things. Why water doesn't heat up as fast as the land. And it also explains why we are seeing uh, rising temperatures with rising carbon dioxide across the globe. This has been a, our second edition this week of our KCTV5 weather experiments. Again, if you have a question, please post that at the bottom of this Facebook post or email me at brett.anthony at kctv5.com. Join us again Wednesday for another weather experiment.